What is up guys, Greg Newmaster here coming at you with another action figure review. Uh, today I have here the Star Wars Vintage Collection Mandalorian Cara Dune. Um, if any of you have watched the show, I'm sure you have if you're watching an action figure uh, review video. Mandalorian, best thing Disney Star Wars has done in my opinion. Um, Cara Dune is a character who is played by the beautiful Gina Carano. Uh, she was the original Ronda Rousey MMA martial artist, fighter, champion, just a fantastic action star, a fantastic fighter, a uh, very beautiful woman. Um, and uh, she was she was a great casting choice. Um, she was almost Wonder Woman. Which um, I think she would have been a great Wonder Woman, um, though I think uh, Gal Gadot is a little bit more charismatic as an actress than uh, Gita Carano is. But anyhow, so she was cast as Cara Dune. Uh, good for her. Um, I believe she was a Rebel uh, Shock Trooper or Special Forces Trooper for the Rebel Alliance, and. Um, She's a character that uh, Mando comes across at one point when he's in hiding with uh, the child or Baby Yoda. And uh, she sort of becomes a part of his team. But uh, I'm going to judge this figure on sculpt, articulation, paint, and accessories. Um, so back to the vintage collection. It, it has been such a huge disappointment that Hasbro has abandoned the 3.75 line. Um, if you're a Star Wars action figure collector who's been collecting uh, since the 80s, uh, the, the main line has always been the 3.75 line, but over the past like five, maybe a little bit more than that, five to eight years, they really abandoned the 3.75 line and started focusing on the 6-inch line, which is really frustrating. So, for collectors, it's annoying because they're only releasing sporadically a few new 3.75 um, line characters. And, uh, and they just keep repainting um, body molds that they've already done. And, and they've done a great job in that, and they've been giving them new head sculpts, but... You know, if anybody's listening out there, Hasbro, please make new characters like this Cara Dune, like the Mandalorian. Give us new figures. We will buy them. Like, they, they released all these figures for uh, Star Wars Rebels, uh, the animated show. But they released them all in the 6-inch line, not the 3.75 line. What about the people who've been collecting 3.75 line forever? Also, the 6-inch line doesn't have vehicles. They're just too big. I know you put out a couple, but, like, come on. Give us new 3.75 uh, line characters, like Cara Dune, like the Mandalorian. Give us the Star Wars Rebels. Um, give us more uh, characters from the, the new films. We hardly had any from... Uh, um, from The Last Jedi, from The Force Awakens, and now The Rise of Skywalker, they gave us the really crappy Force Link ones with zero articulation. They were terrible figures, but they've barely given us anything for the Vintage Collection, so that's, that's my plea. But anyhow, I'm really pleased with this figure. It looks amazing. Like, look at how good that head sculpt looks. Like, it's just insane, like, what they're doing now. That looks exactly like Gina Carano. It looks beautiful. They even got the mole, like, on her cheek or, or that dirt spot that she has. It just looks beautiful. Like, look at how, like, the tattoo on her arm. Like, even look at her body sculpt. Like, they even have, like, Gina Carano kind of has, like, thicker arms because she's really muscular and she has thicker legs. Um, like, look at the shape of her body. Like, they have, they got it perfectly. They just keep getting better and better with these figures, but they just don't want to make them for us. So, like, look at that. Just an amazing figure. Um, 
like look at that face the faces just keep getting better and better like if you look at the faces from the old figures they don't even look like the the people sometimes so let's get a quick look at the articulation uh not too much but but it's pretty good for a, a 3.75 figure um we got the shoulders that can go up this high um they rotate um, so she has a shoulder pad here. It's a real soft plastic. Um, she's got, uh, it's not really bicep swivel. We'll call it elbow swivel. But um, elbows can turn all the way around. It goes a little bit more than 90 degrees, which which is acceptable. Um, it's not the double jointed elbows. I, I know they can do that. They've done it with the Luke uh the Luke when uh, cave figure from Empire Strikes Back, he has double jointed elbows, so I don't see why they can't. I, I love this with the wrist. Um, they put the joint in the top of the wrist, so when they hold their weapons, they can point it down. Because normally they have the joint here, and they do this uh, instead of like that. You know, actually, I think it would be better if they stuck this on a little ball joint. And then you would have more range of motion. But this is really good for the weapons. Um, so we got a cut in the torso. Um, that's the only uh, torso articulation we have, which is pretty good though. <clears throat> Excuse me. She can bend. She can crunch about that far. Not too much. She can crunch back a little bit. Um, she can spin all the way around. But you know, we got a little torso rocking, which is nice. I, I don't think that's too bad. Um, I'll put this gun down for a minute. Uh, let's look at the head. So, an annoying thing, but a good thing, is they started doing uh, these double-jointed necks. I don't know if you can see that in there. Oh, there we go. So, there's there's a little peg now. It's like a double-jointed ball peg. Instead, they used to have a round peg on the top, and the head just pushed down. But this gives you more head articulation, which is great. Um, but, it, you know... If you have like other old figures like Luke Skywalker figures or Han Solo figures and you want to swap their heads for whatever reason, this is just like petty nerdy stuff. You can't really do it now with the new figures. But it but it's a it's a better innovation because you can you have way more head articulation. Look at that. So my my biggest complaint um, is still I, I understand why they're doing it is the hip articulation they they put these joints um like seeing the side like this instead of giving the the typical joint there or or attaching it to like a ball joint they do this like thigh cut so you to get the legs to go like a regular straight up and down way you have to kind of like maneuver it so you turn this joint that way so now you have the forward but you can't do the split because you have to turn it out like so to do the split. And it's just kind of weird. Um, I, I just don't like that. I wish they would change that. But I understand why they do it because it, it makes the sculpt look better. It, it gives her hips there. See the see the arch of the hips there. And um, <clears throat> here's the knee joints. Not too bad. 90 degrees. Um, we have uh, ankle up and down no ankle pivot so we can't pivot the the ankles unfortunately um so it's not not too bad not perfect on the articulation but like i said for a 3.75 figure this is awesome so she comes with two guns uh here is her blaster uh it has it's it has a little bit of brown paint on the handle yeah if you guys can see that there Really nice. They they just stepped it up so much with the detail. And I love with the Star Wars figures how they always they make a nice little holster there. So they can put their guns or their blasters. And then she comes with this big boy here. Nice looking gun. Look at the paint and the detail. We have like three different colors of paint on here. We got the brown. Here's like a, a metal metallic. And then here's like a lighter silver at the tip. And then she's got a handle there and handle there. So she can, this is like a big boy Rambo gun. So she can hold it. Let's see if we can get that on there. 
and kind of do one of these guys. I can just get it to stay. Yeah, and she can like, yo, um, she kind of looks like a female Rambo. <laughs> yeah, and hold it like, well, she's pointing at the ground right now, but you see what I mean. So, I love this figure. It's great. I, I hope they release a little miniature Baby Yoda. I hope they release uh, the Mandalorian in his Beskar armor, where you can remove his helmet and see his face. That was really disappointing with um, the first figure that they released, that you couldn't remove his helmet. Because uh, they always did it with the Boba Fett and the Jango Fett, and even with the clone troopers, so I don't see why they couldn't do it with Mando. But I guess it's a part of his character, anyhow. But we got Cara Dune here. Um, she's awesome. Uh, I'd highly recommend buying her. I, I got to pick her up early. I'm sorry I don't have the packaging. Um, I, I'm just not a packaging guy. She comes on a standard card. Um, nothing too exciting. And uh, yeah, so she's great. I got her early on eBay. I uh, paid a little bit more for her. Um, but that's because I'm a little bit greedy. And I was just so excited to have her and Mando. So yeah, highly recommend this figure. She's beautiful. Um, she's she's great for a 3.75 figure. Articulation's not perfect, but it could be better. Accessory, accessories, paint, sculpt, awesome. I mean, just look at that face. Like, look at that. Look at how realistic that looks. They just keep getting better and better. So Hasbro, please, please release more 3.75 vintage collection figures, new characters. Give us the Star Wars Rebels. Um, give us more Clone Wars characters. Give us the new movie characters. Um, give us new Kylo Ren's. Jeez, oh man. Uh, give us expanded universe characters, like updated ones, like Jason and Jaina Solo. Um, Yu Zan Bong. Uh, give us um, who else? Uh, uh, Thrawn. Uh, Lobaka. There, there's just so many great characters that we could. Um, that people would buy and people would love. So, yeah, highly recommend this figure. If you like the video, like and subscribe. You guys all have a great day. Thank you very much.